All right, here we are, we're taping. This is the final testing of our fin. The team's back together. We're at our proving grounds, testing grounds here in Gorham. And um, Sean Moody. thank you to Sean for sure. All and right. this is Gary, and he's uh, he's the guy with the tools. <laughs> he's the one who knows what he's doing with those tools. <laughs> so what you want to do is pick your location, lay out your template. Pick anywhere you want in the car, as long as it's not. You want to make sure it's not above the uh, the light. Okay. Your interior light. And then we'll remove the headliner inside to match up where we're going to come across and down the uh, post. Okay, great. Okay. So taking into so, consideration some of these rails. Yeah. So normally you take out, you know, it, each car would be different as to how you pull out your uh, liner. But we'll open this up. We'll, we'll pull this down here. So any real installer would be able to do this without any problems, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a body guy. So yeah. Not my not my thing. So. so this is an example just to show you how it is run if you do hard install it. So yeah. yeah, anybody who wants to do this can. I mean it's just it's just time consuming. Yep. But it's not difficult at all. Yeah, you know, it takes some time, but yeah. you know, if it protects your life, a little bit of time is it's, it's a good investment. access to the roof so it'll be right back here so then we can feed it over so let's yep, uh, so you got the roof exposed right there yep, let me take a look. Normally you'd have to pull down your headliner and you know somebody does body work can pull this right down and put it back up again yeah so, okay, so any kind of special drill half Gary? inch half inch yep. drill just a half inch yep. it's gonna grab so you have to Holes are. So that's the hole for your the tube to feed mm -hmm. the pepper spray up with. So these holes will correspond with the two with your uh, pepper spray tube and then your bolt to hold bolt it down. We'll double check, make sure that fits, yep. Check, make sure that we have the right size hole with this one. Yep, we're well, good, okay. I'm gonna clean up this hole just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, so the, both of these holes will have to be caulked, yeah. otherwise they will leak. Yeah. So there's no, plus we don't want, we don't want that grinding on the plastic. Yeah, well right. you wanna, you wanna deburr it and that's yeah. what, that tool that I just used here. Well, you don't have to go out and buy one. You can use pretty much any Just file, yeah. any fi round file, whatever you can need to bore it, make sure. But it's not mm -hmm. going to rub against it because once this is mounted, once this is on here and yeah. solid, it's, it's not going anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed the tube up through. We'll connect it, pull it down, uh, uh, we'll caulk it, and then we'll put the bolt in underneath. We'll feed this down through. I'm doing is I'm feeding this through. I'm reaching up in. Yeah, reaching up in. I'm feeding it down through. Do a re play on that one. Yeah, so. So you're just feeding that through? Yep. Now it's, it's come through over here. It's come through down over here. Uh -huh. And then depending on what you want to do, you can run it down the rear post, you can run it down the front post. 
you know, it all depends how deep into it you want to get. You can run this pretty much anywhere you want in your car that you're willing to, to kind of pull apart and put back mm -hmm. together. All right, so then this has two different sizes. You have your three eighths, which will fit onto the actual fin that goes on, push on, make sure it's on there all the way on. And then, then this will go on like normal. You push that in, make sure again that that goes in and then seats all the way in. Make sure you're tugging on it. Yep, give it a good tug. Yep, it's on. Okay, we're gonna pull that down through. And then if you drilled your holes correctly, the bolt will line up. Okay. okay, so you have the straight connector? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this up here like this. We're gonna get some caulking and caulk around both holes. So, so I'm gonna use a dark caulking uh, primarily for this so everybody can see what's going on. If I use white caulking on a white car, the, the visibility of it would be pretty, pretty minimal. So what we'll do is caulk around the, uh, I'm just using this color because it's easy for us to, to see. 